All right, let's go catch some bad guys. What's up? It's Eric. I got a new package from Horizon today. I honestly have no idea what this is. Super, super excited. Uh, I'm going to open this thing up for the first time on camera. Um, all I know is it says Fire Team, Fire Team Tactical Unit uh, Arma. <laughs> it's going to be pretty, pretty badass. Can't wait to see what's in this box. So uh, it's definitely going to be something unique, I'm sure. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this thing open and see what it is. All right, guys, here we go. Drum roll, please. Ah, oh, for one thing, it's upside down. <laughs> what do we got here? All right, let's turn this baby around real quick. And here it is. Check this out. This is crazy. <laughs> Looks like some kind of insane uh, desert buggy basher here. Perform evasive maneuvers. I like that already. RTR 6SBLX 17th scale. Fire team technical unit 17th scale four wheel drive electric speed assault vehicle. <laughs> oh, that's pretty awesome, guys. We're going to get this thing out and check it out. All right, guys, got the box out. I can't wait to unveil this thing. I'm not much of an unboxer, but I'm going to go and do it anyway. <sighs> got to get that fresh RC smell, too. I know you can't smell it on the camera. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, this looks awesome. Check this monster out. This is super sweet. Oh man, we got some guitar like looking tires on it. Wow, look at the dudes with the guns. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun to send. All right guys, we're gonna take a closer look at this new Arma Fire Team. This thing looks absolutely sweet. Again, I'm loving the scale features, especially these uh, dudes right here with the, with the guns. That is just so cool. Their little heads turn, little guns move. And a quick look at the body shell, the way this uh, cage system is, this thing looks super, super sturdy. The way they uh, integrated this cage system in here, so everything looks uh, super, super tough. It also has these little holes right here, as you can see on the sides and all four corners, that also fit into these spikes right here on the side to uh, hold that body on there. So that's pretty cool design. I love the little uh, uh, step bar right there. It's pretty cool. Just another awesome little detail. As far as the truck in here goes, uh, first of all, I'm really digging these tires. They got a really tall sidewall on them. They feel really nice. They are prevented uh, from the factory, which is really cool. These tires kind of slightly resemble uh, Qatar's in a way, as far as the tread pattern. But then they got this uh, really tall sidewall with the tread on the side right there. It's just really cool. Again, those are prevented. Uh, this truck does have the handbrake module, uh, like your uh, new infraction and stuff, which is going to be something really cool to try out. Uh, something uh, completely different, especially in an off-road basher. So really excited to uh, try that. But guys, this truck is set up uh, for ultimate handling, uh, kind of like the Mojave, as far as uh, just handling the off-road. I mean, this thing is so plush. I mean, she ought to just, just run over ruts and uh, stuff uh, completely butter smooth. It does have the EXB top plate right there. It does have plastic chassis braces. Uh, again, guys, this is the RTR ready to run version. It does have the standard aluminum chassis on it, uh, which looks like the uh, V5 slash EXB arms and uh, geometry which is really cool to get those super thick arms. It is running the Spectrum 2050 KV motor along with the uh, Firma 150 amp ESC, the uh, Spectrum uh, S652 servo. It does come with the Spectrum SLT3 remote, which is a really nice uh, remote. I like the spring action and the throttle and the nice foam wheel right here. Here's a quick shot of the instruction manual, stickers and tools, and it also comes with a 15 tooth speed pinion, which of course I'll probably throw that sucker on there for the first run. It may be kind of hard to see in there, but they did upgrade to an aluminum uh, center diff case, which is really cool because, you know, uh, sometimes those plastic ones, if you get a rock wedged in there, it just dremels it down to nothing, and then sometimes they melt. So that's really cool they went ahead and upgraded to, to the aluminum case. Again, guys, this thing is a 1 7 scale. It does look like it's on a Mojave chassis, possibly. Uh, if you guys know my Italian XL, I absolutely love that uh, platform. It's just a perfect size. So big shout out to Arma for uh, creating something in the 1 7 scale line as far as uh, off-road basher goes. Really digging the bumper design on this thing. This is the back bumper. Looks like it could take loads of hits. It's got tons of flex in there. And here's a quick shot of the front one, the way they integrated everything. Again, the shocks are just butter, butter smooth. I really love the uh, black anodized job they did on this. I mean, they just look really sweet. Here's a quick shot of the box. This is the side here, the Fire Team 6S BLX 17th scale, uh, four wheel drive electric speed assault vehicle. It's got the third channel handbrake module for evasive maneuvers. Uh, convenient uh, SLT3 third channel transmitter handbrake button. So I can't wait to try that out. Again, it's got the EXP top plate. 
Uh, your durable steel drive shafts all the way through, heavy duty drivetrain, strong composite chassis, side pods, all metal diff out drives and gearbox internals. And here's a quick shot of the back of the box. Uh, again, this thing does come in a white mat, uh, kind of a camo. So you got the black and gray and then the white. So you got two different versions. Again, you got your military inspired wheel and uh, airless tire design. You got your handbrake module right there. You got the safety input gears. And then again, your aluminum case on the center diff. Fire team. A fire team is a small four-man military squad designed to optimize bounding over watch and fire and movement, tactical doctrine and combat. The fire team is the building block for all the military tactical operations. All right, guys, I'm going to get this thing out for just a quick little shakedown run. Nothing too crazy on the first run. Again, big shout out to Armin Horizon Hobby for giving me the opportunity to uh, explore this vehicle and give it a try. It's just so cool and so unique. Again, it just blew my mind when I first opened the box. And uh, it's just something completely different than what we're used to. So I can't wait to uh, give this baby a run. All right, guys, gonna do a quick little uh, get a feel for it bash. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy with the truck right now until I tune it a little bit. I'm on 6S, running a single 6S pack. Um, I'm running the uh, Sokoken uh, LiPo 7200-100C. Uh, I did a review on these batteries in uh, my Italian XL video if you guys wanna check it out. They're killer batteries, uh, pack lots of punch with a lot of runtime. So you guys check that out if you haven't seen it. All right, let's give her a quick little rip, see what's up. All right, let's go catch some bad guys. <laughs> thing hauls butt. <laughs> right over the ruts. Guys, this truck is awesome. Oh, that was close. Alright guys, let's try out this handbrake, see what it does. <laughs> nice. Alright, we're going. Handbrake. Nice little drift. Take off. There's a little handbrake action. A little evasive maneuver. Right, guys that's gonna be it for the maiden run of this truck this thing is so much fun straight out of the box the tires hook up really nice they're super cush the truck handles nice it drifts it uh, just hovers over the rough terrain like it's nothing so again big shout out to Armin Horizon Hobby for creating a very unique vehicle this thing is so much fun to drive I may uh, go in and uh, play with the diff weights a little bit and who knows we may do some a little send session on the next video see how she handles a little jumping all right guys until next time RC Dude 81 peace out
call that an evasive maneuver. All right, guys, we gotta be silent. We gotta find the enemy. We're gonna have to creep through this swamp. Like a cheetah. <laughs> 